I keep my son inside a chest. Each morning when I wake up, I open the chest where I keep my son. I stroke his small skull and murmur good morning although I know he can no longer hear me. I hope he doesn't think I've abandoned him. I hope he knows I never will. When my son died of a fever, I refused to let him go. He was only a baby and all that I had left. So I turned to the stories my own mother had told me, the rituals and legends I'd learned in childhood. The rules of bringing someone back from the underworld seemed so easy. I scoffed at the stories of those who failed, sure that my willpower would be stronger than theirs. I forced my way through to the fields of night, and I found my son's faint, pale soul. I guided it all the way back to his body, never looking back once. When I saw my son open his eyes again and smile at me, I thought I had made the right choice. He laughed, he ran, he played just as he had before. I even believed I could pretend nothing had happened. Then a few days later, I saw the rock creeping up his skin. At that moment, I realized my mistake. I hadn't restored my son to life. I had only brought his soul back to his corpse. I tried to comfort him as his body swelled and decayed. He wailed day and night in fear as his flesh fell from his bones. Only when his throat rotted away did he stop screaming. I attempted to return to the underworld, to return my son's soul, but the way would not open to me again. I cheated death, and my punishment was to keep what I stole. When his ligaments finally broke down, I gathered his bones and placed them in the antique chest I inherited from my mother. Only the best would do for my son. Sometimes my son's bones lie still inside the chest for hours, even days, and I dare to hope that his soul found its way back to where it belongs. But sooner or later, his bones always begin to rattle again, and I know he's still alive. Once, all I wanted was to have my son here with me. But now, I would give anything for him to die.